Go. Hi, Dr. Windish here again. Welcome to our series uh, on pediatric education for pediatric professionals. Today we're going to talk about hip exams for newborns. And Jocelyn has been kind enough to, um, to demonstrate this. In an ideal world, the hip exam is done without a diaper on. But in order to be able to place this the places we want to post this and keep it G-rated, we're keeping our diaper on. So, I'm going to just borrow you for a second, kiddo. We're going to look at thigh folds for symmetry. And then in an ideal world, without a diaper on, you're going to look at good gluteal folds for symmetry. But we're not going to see any folds because she has a diaper on. I'm going to go ahead and lay her back. The baby needs to be on a firm surface. This is really not something you can do on mom's lap. One hip at a time needs to be examined. One hand goes under the pelvis, holding the sacrum and the pubis. With the knee flexed, your middle finger is going to go over the greater trochanter, and you're going to start by performing Barlow's maneuver, which involves pushing gently into the table and then flexing the hip, and then Ortolani's maneuver, which will involve pulling up and extending the hip. We're then going to change hands and repeat that on the other side. If you try to examine both hips at the same time, you will not get a good hip exam. The next thing to do is just look for symmetry of the flexion of the hips with knees flexed and then with knees extended, and they should be somewhat symmetric on, or should be symmetric on both sides. You are all done, kiddo. Thank you. Oh, how about we give you back to mama? Many professionals attempt to do Barlow and Ortolani's maneuvers simultaneously on the left and right of the hip. If you try to examine both hips at the same time, you will miss developmental dysplasia of the hip. So you must do one hip at a time. Uh, if you have questions on how to perform this exam, check with your clinical instructor. Uh, I'm a professor of medicine at many universities and would be happy to bring you here for a pediatric rotation. My office can be reached at Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine, 775-359-7111. Again, I'm Dr. Windish, and we'll see you around.